Hi, it's I, Smack Smarks, and welcome to the Hump Day Zone. It's Hump Day, so you're tuning into the Hump Day Zone in an anthology series of wonderful stories. Tonight's, tonight's story stars the one and only Credit Card Max. He's playing the role of Officer Max in a story about somebody who causes death by poisoning spaghetti. It's called Case of the Food Poisoner. Take it away, Max. So sad, so sad, so sad. Over eight deaths in the neighborhood happened. Eight people were poisoned after eating spaghetti. Not like spaghetti, but people ate spaghetti and then they died from poison. This can't be a coincidence. Somebody has got to be poisoning these people. Who could be doing that? Mm. I, Officer Marix, will investigate. So I'll look at this listing of all the people who've died this week. So let's see. Do I know anybody connected to all eight of these people? Hmm. What do I know about any of these? Do I know anybody who knows all of them or most or anyone who beat enemy? Let's see. Oh yeah, I, I know that name. I hate him. I know that name. I hate her. I know that name. Hmm. He put me through a credit card scam. Really hate him. That's the guy who used to bully me in high school. Mm hmm. Ooh, that one. He beat me to asking out the, the girl who ended up being the prom queen. Really hate him. Hmm. Yep, I know I hate all these people. I wonder who poisoned them. Hmm. It kind of pains me that I gotta find out who killed these people. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, do I hate all of them. I suppose they were the bar who, who tried to kill me last week. Sir Simbright. Hmm. So who could possibly have done this? Must investigate and then I will figure it out. Hmm. But I have some suspects. Suspects of my brain. Yeah. Who could have done it? Hmm. I can think of a few people. Like Colonel Gravy. He smells like gravy. Well, it smells like a run banana. And there's Mr. Blue. And there's Mrs. Turkey. Yeah, Mrs. Turkey. Yeah. Mrs. She can't be trusted. No, she's been suspected before. Four times. Who could have done that? Hmm. I'll investigate later. I've been invited to dinner by, by Mrs. Turkey. We have spaghetti. I have the spaghetti is really good. Yeah, hmm. So when I go to her house for dinner, I'll just go in and I'll find an excuse to snoop around, see if I can find evidence against her. I can't just accuse these people, you know, I gotta arrest them. So, so I'll just go up to dinner to Mrs. Turkey's house, have that spaghetti dinner, and we'll figure out did she do it. Now, snoop through her room. What a story. So, who do you think? It's the one putting the poison in the food. Hmm. We don't know who it is. He's going to see Mrs. Turkey because he suspects Mrs. Turkey might have done it. I won't be surprised either. Like, I know Mrs. Turkey. Hmm. I know Mrs. Turkey. It's just she turned on me. And not the good kind of turning on either. I don't know. I don't like turning on me anymore. I don't know. Anyway. You know what? Let's get back to the story. We're after dinner time. He's having this way again right now. Thanks for the hope day spaghetti dinner, Miss, Miss Turkey. It's very good. I, I like spaghetti. But now, if you excuse me, I, I, I need a stupid baby. I need to invest in Jump. Do you have a downstairs bathroom in the basement of the home? Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Take a sip of this. Feeling sick. I'm poison. It's only this is the worst hope day ever. All right. <laughs> well, another one's been poisoned. Hee <laughs> hee What a story. That served him right. That's a lesson against police brutality. Like, yeah. Hopefully, you know, police brutality after all that poisoning. Now, if you excuse me, Mrs. Turkey has invited me out to dinner. Hmm. I thought she turned on me earlier, but. I guess she's coming around, so I'm gonna have spaghetti with the story. I smack for see you again 
next week on another Hump Day's own story.